I am literally this close to owning every Incredible Hulk game. Let's talk about it. What it is, guys, this your boy King Might D Games coming at you with another video. And yes, 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 finally, I'm going to own every single Incredible Hulk game. Now, you guys probably wondering, when I say every Incredible Hulk game, I mean every single one. But here's the thing. When I say every single one, I don't mean every single one for each console. Okay, so like, say, for example, this game right here. I believe they brought this out for the GameCube, the PlayStation 2, and the original Xbox. So I'm not going to own them for every console. I'm just going to own every the big name title of the game. So, I, for example, I have this one right here, and I have it for the uh, PS2. So there's no need for me to get it for the GameCube and get it for the Xbox. No, I already own the title. So a lot of things I've been seeing as well is I've been seeing a lot of these same games, but... With different covers now if you guys know you know americans uh release one version of a cover you know japanese release a different out uh of different cover and, and it's different it's not the same so like for example this incredible hulk game let me go to the next one right here let me see it's right there there it is see this is the same one for the super nintendo and for the regular sega genesis just for mega drive it's a different cover so i want to own every single game and i'm really happy about that because um you know if you guys don't know i'm a huge incredible hulk fan like huge fan i even had a, a, an incredible hulk shrine uh in my game room so i'm very happy to have that um also again like i tell people when you collect collect stuff that you like you know, don't just collect for no reason. Have a purpose. If you want to own every Street Fighter game, do it. If you want to own every Mortal Kombat game, do it. You know, um, I know someone right now who's trying to collect every Tekken game. Do it. You know, that's going to keep your juices flowing and keep the hunt going. Because sometimes, I made a video before, we get into these uh, video game hunting modes where we don't want to do it anymore. We, we get burnt out of doing it. And this is something for me that's going to keep me going. So I have... Two more that I have to get, and they should be expected to get here on, um, what is it said, June the 25th. So I'm really happy for that, and I will show you guys which two that I needed. So the first one I needed was this one right here for the Game Boy Advance. Now, I'm kind of upset. I should have got the uh, complete one with the uh, box and everything else. This one's just the manual and the game, but I can always get the box. I I'm seeing them online for two or three bucks, so that that's not a problem. And the other one I had to get was this one right here. This Incredible Hulk game for the PS1. Uh, I did not have this one. And this one should be expected to be here on the 25th as well. Um, so I'm very happy to get it. Looks like it's in okay condition. Uh, not bad. And uh, yeah, those are the last two. So I, in total, I counted like five Incredible Hulk games. Five or six Incredible Hulk games. And these are the only last ones that I need. So I'm very happy for that. Um, thank you guys for watching. And let me know, are you guys, what series are you guys trying to collect for? Are you trying to complete a uh, game series? Um, let me know which one it is. Let me know um, which games you guys are specifically focused on in collecting. All right. Peace out. Love you guys. And I will do a video once these games get here. Peace.